Hello, I come back on here today just thanking God again. Um, I just come on here telling you to stay prayed up, stay covered up, stay in the Word of God. Um, they have so much stuff that's going on in this world. Um, God been revealing things to me, revealing things to prophets. Um, just been showing us the same thing that's going on. So it's never confirmation that's going on in this world. And we got to understand is that we got to continue to stand. You know, don't worry about what the problem is in the world. And we have to focus on Jesus and not the worldly things. Uh, we have to stay strong. And you have to ask God to give you strength and comfort of days ahead. We need to start praying for our cities. Because it's... it's, it's it's falling apart. And the devil is a lie. And I come against the spirit right now in our city. And they send, and I ask God to send it back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Um, I pray right now against this, this um, depression spirits. I pray against panic attacks. I pray against cancer in the name of Jesus. I pray against... Um, Everything, Lord, that's not of God, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that you shall be healed in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray right now that we shall live and not die. I pray right now that God going to restore our marriages right now in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that I know that God going to bless us right now in the name of Jesus. You know, we got to start speaking everything that exists. We got to start letting the devil know you will lie. You got to start telling the devil, get out of my house. Get out of my life. Get out of my mom. Get out of my dad. Get out of my children. We are God's children. And God gave us the power to speak over things. Not just to sit back and let the devil just walk all over us. Because God bonded us out a long time ago. When he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, down to sin for us, we got the key. We got the keys to our life. The devil ain't got no keys to our life. I heard it from the pastor uh, Friday. You know, we got to start letting the devil know we out. We not in bondage. Stop sitting at home and stop frowning all day. The devil wants to see you unhappy. He wants to see you give up. But the devil is a lot. He shall not win this battle. You start keeping a smile on your face. You walk with your head up high because you know where your help comes from. Go and say, I shall supply all your needs. Go and say, don't worry about tomorrow because I'm already there. You got to start speaking it. Stop sitting back. Stop crying. I mean, I know I cry at times, but I cry because I know how God has been so good to me. At the weakest moments, at the darkest moments in my life, when the devil try to get me to give up, guess what? I never gave up because I know God was on my side through it all. God is not going to never leave us and never forsake us. You got to start letting the devil know, get behind me right now in the name of Jesus. And soon you start praising God, you praise God in the good times, you praise God in the bad times. No matter what you may be going through, we have to suffer because Jesus suffered. We have to go through these things because Jesus went through it. Abraham, no, not Abraham. Moses told the Israels, we all have to go through stuff. It's only the beginning. It's not over. We're going to go through this before until God calls us home. We got to start going out and start spreading the word of God. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Letting people know God loves you. Stop sitting on your testimonies and tell people your testimonies. Not half of it. Tell them all of it. Let them know how God been so good to you despite of the storms, despite of the stumbling blocks that came your way. You fought through it. You fight through it. You continue to fight. You continue to stand. You continue to work for the Lord. Stop sitting on your gifts and start activating your gifts. Go ahead and give you them gifts to sit down. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm tired this morning, but I pray right now that God give me strength to carry through. 
Because no matter what time I go to bed, I ain't going to bed till like 4 o'clock in the morning. But I'm still up this morning on my way to the Lord's house to give God all the praise and all the glory. Because I'm going to have strength. Because I know as soon as I walk in that church, I'm lifting my hands and say, thank you, Lord, for life this morning. Thank you, Lord, for those storms. Thank you, Lord, for the trials. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Even when we turned our back on God, God still loves us. If you're not saved today, and you're tired of living in your sinful life, you're tired of living the way you've been living for so long, I have a friend named Jesus can wash all your sins away when you repent, get baptized, get saved, and give your life to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. You become a new creature, and all your sins is washed away. It's time, children of God, to come, surrender, and give your life to God. Give your life to God. Go to church this morning. Stop making every excuses up not to go to church. Well, I don't have no clothes to put on. My hair not looking right. Baby, don't stop. That's the devil trying to get you to worry about liberty things. No. You get dressed. You go to church. And I'm telling you, Jesus changed my life. And I know he'll do it for you. God delivered me. God set me free. God healed my heart when it was broken, when I couldn't trust nobody. God healed me. God, God made a way for me able to help people, to trust people. God helped me to forgive people when my own family and friends turned their back. God say, daughter, forgive them. Forgive them. I'm going through stuff right now, but guess what? You will never know because I keep a smile on my face. I keep spreading the word of God. Everything's going to be okay. I have more bills than I have money, but guess what? I'm rich in God, and I know God going to take care of me. So why worry? Why stress? Stress and worry is not of God. God love us. Yes, we may let him down, but guess what? God forgave you. Don't worry about what happened yesterday. You worry about what today. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. May God bless you, my sisters and brothers. I won't be on here for a while. I'm just trying to get a relationship with God, start hearing the word from God, and just having this, this relaxing with God. Just letting God just hold me and talk to God. And this we have to do sometimes. Go in your secret place and cry out to God. Because I'm praying for the lost souls in this world. So many people are lost. The reason why I make videos for God to use me to teach this to touch a lost soul. Don't give up. I come against suicide spirits in the name of Jesus. I speak life over your situation right now. I ask Heavenly Father right now that you touch someone that may be watching this video. Touch their hearts this morning, Lord Jesus. To let them know, Lord, you love them. You never left them and you never forsake them through it all. May God bless you, my sisters and brothers of Christ. Don't give up. Don't throw in a tower. That's what the devil wants us to do. Give up. But he's a lie. You still the devil telling the, start telling the devil, you a lie. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Be blessed.